opinion on the situation? Well, apparently she died taking photos of the building over there. Lab results say that her water was spiked with arsenic. Yeah. Well, at least the photos are scenic. Today, we're going to be talking about the uses and history of arsenic. <laughs> Quiet down, children. First, let's cover the history. Let's. Arsenic compounds have been used throughout history as early as 300 AD. Elemental arsenic, however, was first isolated during the Bronze Age by famed alchemist Albertus Magnus in 1250. It is thought that he first isolated the element by heating soap together with arsenic sulfide. And while in history, inorganic arsenic compounds have been infamous for their use as a poison, arsenic is actually very common. In fact, it's all around us! Trace amounts of arsenic are in the air, ground, and water, because arsenic naturally occurs and is widely spread throughout the Earth's crust. Small amounts of organic arsenic are also present in many foods, like chicken. Rice, grape juice, apple juice, and fish. <laughs> and you get greens. The big difference to note is between pure arsenic and arsenic compounds. Pure, elemental arsenic is not very harmful, but it's also not very common in nature and comes in three allotropes, gray, yellow, and black. Metallic gray is its most common form, and it's the most stable. It has a rhombohedral crystal structure, the weak bonds of which make it a very brittle solid. Yellow is soft and waxy, unstable, has a hexagonal structure, and is the most volatile and toxic of the three. However, it is rarely found outside a lab. Black is even less common than yellow. It's glassy and brittle, and a polymorph, meaning it doesn't have a set crystal structure. In fact, it has never been proven that this black allotrope even exists. On the other hand, arsenic compounds are much more common than pure arsenic, but are also more dangerous. There are many minerals and are utilized in many ways today. Let's talk a little about the uses of arsenic compounds and the hazards of arsenic in various occupations, water, and food. The salts of the compound arsenic acid, or arsenate, are used in wood preservation, most frequently chromated copper arsenate, which has been used since the 1930s because its toxicity delays rot and deters termites. Other synthetic arsenates were used in insecticides for the same reason. Workers in these occupations, however, are chronically exposed to inorganic arsenic compounds, which put them at a significantly greater health risks. Arsenic trioxide, a compound of arsenic and sulfuric acid, is used in glass manufacturing today. And arsenic sulfides are used for colored pyrotechnics. Arsenic trioxide is especially toxic if ingested or inhaled. Have you ever heard of Cezanne, Monet, Van Gogh? These three famous painters, as well as many other painters of the Impressionist era, were also victims of chronic exposure to arsenic, because arsenic-2, sulfur-3, Orpiment, and arsenic-4, sulfur-4, realgar, were compounds commonly used in the pigment emerald green at the time. Some painters suffered from diabetes, night blindness, even death. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the Lord Duke of Elderberry? Who did it? <laughs> High-class ladies of the Victorian era also suffered due to arsenic exposure because they frequently rubbed arsenic mixed with vinegar and chalk on their faces, and sometimes even ate it. This made their complexions whiter. <laughs> this showed that they were of a high rank, because being white meant you weren't working in the fields. Arsenic trioxide and arsenic pentoxide are what cause groundwater contamination today. They are odorless, white, crystalline oxides that dissolve in water and form acidic solutions. This contamination has caused a lot of damage. Well water tainted with arsenic is especially frequent problem. 
And while earlier we did mention that food containing arsenic today is at safe amounts, in the past, sanctions on arsenic were put in place by China as its use in insecticide was rising to dangerous levels and polluting the rice. A poultry scare also caused new laws to be put in place when arsenic used as an antibiotic in chicken feed caused elevated levels that were unsafe for consumption. Aside from chronic or accidental exposure, arsenic trioxide is an infamous murder weapon! especially used during the Middle Ages, where it got the nickname Inheritance Powder because successors frequently used it to off family members in power. Napoleon Bonaparte is even said to have been killed by it during his imprisonment on St. Helena, when a test of his hair revealed 13 times the normal amount of arsenic. However, this could have also been caused by the wallpaper, which at the time was manufactured with arsenic in it. During World War I, arsenic was a key ingredient in chemical warfare. Organo-arsenic compounds were created for attack. Lewisite was a vesicant, causing blistering and chemical burns. It was never used, however, and in the 50s, all stockpiles were neutralized with bleach and dumped in the Gulf of Mexico. Adamsite was a vomiting agent, and though it wasn't used overseas, it was used to subdue the Bonus Army demonstration in D.C. in 1932. At this point, you may be wondering, exactly what are the dangers of arsenic? What happens if you have arsenic poisoning? Let's go to the list, shall we? At first, you'll be struck with headaches, confusion, and drowsiness. As the poison develops, you'll have convulsions, and white spots may appear on the nails. As the poison becomes acute, one will be subject to vomiting, blood in urine, muscle cramping, hair loss, stomach pain, and more convulsions. The final stage ends in a coma and or death. If you're chronically exposed to arsenic, you are at an increased rate of heart disease, skin cancer, stroke, night blindness, and diabetes. Again, pure arsenic is much less toxic than arsenic compounds. In many of the occupational food and groundwater contaminations we mentioned, you may have noticed that arsenic trioxide was in there quite a few times. This is because arsenic trioxide is one of the most toxic forms of arsenic, and it causes most arsenic poisonings. To put it in perspective, arsenic trioxide is 500 times more toxic than pure arsenic. Despite the fact that arsenic compounds are highly toxic and chronic exposure or arsenic poisoning cause serious medical issues, Arsenic has, and still is, used for curing multiple illnesses. In the 19th century, different forms of arsenic were used to treat ulcers and cancer. This medicine was given in a liquid or solid form. In 1878, arsenic was used to treat leukemia, and was pretty effective until radiation was invented, which worked much more effectively. For instance, about 80 years ago, nine patients were greatly helped at Boston City Hospital where they were treated for a form of leukemia with a solution of arsenic trioxide in potassium bicarbonate, a medicinal compound named Fowler's Solution. Pa patients quickly recovered. However, several of these patients then needed to be treated for arsenic poisoning. Doctors made sure to observe patients more carefully after that point in receiving their treatment. Fowler's solution was later overtaken by more successful treatments like radiotherapy or chemotherapy. In the 18 and 1900s, an organic arsenical was found to cure syphilis and psoriasis. This compound is still used today in other treatments. The main concern about using arsenic in treatments is that it puts patients at greater risks for cancer, among other illnesses. Documentations have proven that inorganic arsenic compounds greatly increase the risk of cancer in both the lungs and the skin. Today, arsenic is used in medicine for digestive disorders, food poisoning, insomnia, allergies, anxiety, depression, and obsessive compulsive disorder, as well as rare forms of cancer. However, it now must be administered under strict supervision of a physician. I'm Rosie. And I'm new. And, and we, we are, are real scientists that really approve this message.